All right, so St. Wahlberg is preparing to host a major hockey tournament. With more details, Moses will do joining me on the desk. You know what? Hockey has wrapped up here in the border city, but that doesn't mean that the Saskatchewan hockey wouldn't make any big announcement, Nairman. I'm telling you, the host of the next Sask Energy Hockey Weekend is St. Wahlberg. Matt Schumont has more. Today, the Saskatchewan Hockey Association, along with Sask Energy, announced St. Wahlberg as the host community for the 7th annual Sask Energy Hockey Weekend. There's a big group of us who are really ecstatic. Uh, there's a few ladies behind the scenes. They've put in a lot of work, uh, really good presentation, the SHA, and uh, yeah, we were uh, beside ourselves when we found out we got it. They yeah, certainly were the most creative and the best bid that put together and a lot of detail. So I think that's the, the important thing. And all, then also really the deciding factor is always uh, the description of what they're going to do with the money in terms of a capital uh, uh, project within the rink. So I think that's the positive thing. In the past six years, the SHA and Sask Energy has raised over $315,000 because of this initiative, helping communities renovate and build a better facility for hockey. We know that the rink is... Uh, the center of a community in the wintertime. I, I used to be a recreation director, so I know what that's like in small town Saskatchewan. So that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to come back, help promote the game, promote getting people into the rink. And we've seen that in our six events that people have said there's people that come to the come to the rink that they haven't seen in the rink for five, ten years or ever. Rinks are huge users of natural gas, so it's a way of keeping our customers our customers. And community investment is just huge to Sask Energy, supporting volunteers and what they do, perfect combination for us. Novak and the rest of the St. Walbert Committee are hoping to raise a minimum of $75,000, hoping to fix three major problems at their arena. Our next goal is hopefully to upgrade our sound system and uh, also the insulation on our roof needs to, uh, to be fixed up and that's a huge cost. So. That's the first things off the off the start and then uh, down the road we're hoping to replace the boards. The three day event kicks off on January 17th and wraps up on the 19th. Matt Schumont, New Cap Sports. After a couple of crazy first round game sevens last night, round two begins tonight. We take a look back at the New Cap Sports picks as well to see where we all move on to the next round. Nermanisa has more. All right, so the first round of the playoffs is in the books, and uh, I didn't do too well. Let's take a look at where we stand right now. Moses and Kyle are tied for first place with nine points. Matt is in third with seven points, and I bring up the rear with a good old five points. Now, how it works is each team that you guessed correctly was one point, and if you guessed the right amount of games that they'd win in, it was another point. All right, so let's move on to the next round. We got the Chicago Blackhawks taking on the Detroit Red Wings. I'm going to go Blackhawks in six. This is going to be a heck of a series. I like this one, but I'm going to go with the Blackhawks in six games. I like the Blackhawks in six. I got the Blackhawks in this great original six matchup. Blackhawks in six. All right, so we got San Jose Sharks who swept the Vancouver Canucks, so they've kind of had a little bit of a lull before having to play again. Going up against the defending Stanley Cup champions, the LA Kings. This, uh, it's going to be a close one, but I'm going to go Sharks in six. Boo! Sorry, Matt. And if you do like winning money and you want to collect some dollar bills, then I suggest you take the LA Kings in five. I'm going to go with Chewy on this one. I think the defending Cup champs are going to take it in six. LA Kings are going to win this in six games. Over to the east, we got the Ottawa Senators, who I'm cheering for, versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. And I'm going to go Sens in seven. Pittsburgh, Ottawa, this is going to be the roughest series of round two, but uh, you got to give Pittsburgh the edge in this one. I got the Penguins in seven. Ottawa handily got rid of Montreal, but they have no chance against the Penguins. Pittsburgh in six. I think it's going to be an unlikely hero that's going to win it. Take Pittsburgh in six games. Matt Cook, game winner in overtime. All right, so the Boston Bruins taking on the New York Rangers. I'm going to go with the big old Bruins in six. I'm going to give the Bruins the win in six. Bruins and the Rangers. I think the Bruins will take it, but it'll be a long one. Seven games for Boston. Goalies can take you a long way, and I think this team also is rolling and playing well in front of them. Take the New York Rangers in seven games over the Bruins. And there you have it. Those are our picks. May the best man or woman win.